Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful to be back at EG. Thank you, Michael. So origins, I thought I would tell a story, an old story. And uh, could, you, could you come up and help me for just a moment? I hope you like stories. And you are? Lucy. It's Lucy. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Do you like stories? Yes. I like stories, too. And some of my favorite stories are some of the oldest stories that we know of, going back to ancient Greek and Roman mythology. Are you familiar with the myth of the phoenix? Um, yeah. A little bit? A little, yeah. Could you just put your initials down there in the corner so you'll recognize it again? The Greeks were amongst the first to tell us the story of the myth of the phoenix. The phoenix was a bird native to Arabia. It was large and eagle-like, colored in crimson and golden, and it lived for 500 years. But most interesting of all, there was only one of its kind in the universe. And after living for f <coughs> 500 years, the phoenix would alight upon the branch of a giant oak tree. It would build a nest of rare herbs and exotic plants, and then, with the rapid beating of its wings, it would ignite a fire. Would you light one of those for me, please? You've just violated the fire code. Yes. <laughs> uh, just a little higher so they can see in the cheap seats. Good. OK, that's fine. In essence, igniting its own funeral pyre. Now, the phoenix, like many myths, was a fable, an allegory, not a story of a bird, but a story of rebirth, a story of the sun, which each night dies and is reborn again in the morning. And so, I'll trade you, could you take this from underneath? And so, after consuming itself, Completely in ashes, the phoenix would arise again, whole, restored. To live for another five hundred years. Are those your initials? No, no. Are those your initials? Yes. yes That's yes. yours. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> of course, of course, I can only do that once every 500 years. So, mark your calendars.